Uh, hi there, good evening everybody. Can I just start off by saying uh, how amazing it is to share a room with some of the most inspirational women in the world. Just give it up for a second. Now then, Glamour Man of the Year Award. Uh, I didn't know this is the one that I got. Um, now, uh, I just want to start by saying this person who's winning this tonight definitely deserves it. Uh, he's a very close and fierce friend of mine and has been throughout my whole career. He's actually been there uh, through every step and stage of my career so far. And I found out recently that he actually really wants to be in a boy band. So now I can probably class a lot of his actions as just pure stalking. Um, now, although he never quite made it as the sick member One Direction, uh, he's uh, gone on to do amazing things. He's won a Tony Award, two Emmys. Uh, he's a BAFTA award-winning writer. Uh, and he's also got the biggest TV show in America right now. He's taken the country by storm. And he's a global YouTube sensation for his carpool karaoke's, which we all know and love. Um, and uh, every superstar wants to be on, uh, hint, hint. Just putting it out there. Um, now, most of you won't know about James. He was actually in a boy band when he was younger. He created one at school. Uh, he was 16 years old, and he auditioned everybody himself, purely just to make sure that he could be the lead singer. Uh, and I've actually got uh, some of the lyrics here from the band. I'm going to read in a moment. The band was called Insatiable. Uh, it's just a word I've never said before up until now. Uh, I'm not really sure what it means, but we're going to find out. Insatiable. The slogan was... We never had a slogan. I'm feeling like if we had a slogan, Zane might have stayed. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I, I, I know for next time. Uh, <laughs> uh, the slogan was, because you can't get enough. And I know that that is definitely true with this man, because that's the way I feel about him. Uh, now, the lyrics that he wrote for Insatiable, he wrote these himself. Now, he was 16, so just cut him a break here. I've wrote some pity poor ones myself in my, my time. Um, girl, are you ready? Just tell me when you're ready. Girl, are you ready? I ain't gonna rush you. Girl, are you ready? We're just going steady. Girl, are you ready? I ain't gonna rush you. Now, to me, James, it sounds like you're rushing just a little bit. Uh, Glamour's man of the year tonight, six member of One Direction, the insatiable Mr. James Corden. Give it up. Thanks very much for this. Yeah, sorry about those lyrics. It's a little, um, it's a little much. It was never for me, being in the boy band. Uh, however, this, uh, this night here, um, just thinking about it tonight, has uh, had a huge impact on my life this whole evening. I used to, there was a few years ago where I, uh, I hosted this award show, and it was uh, not as well as Jennifer, I should say, who, let's be honest, has been amazing tonight. Let's give her a round of applause, truly. <laughs> Fuck Dawn French, I mean, come on. Uh... <laughs> um... But I was thinking today, I was thinking about coming here, and I was thinking that I, when I hosted this thing, it was the first thing I'd ever hosted in my life. And I remember thinking afterwards, oh, I, I, I quite rather enjoyed that. And now that is uh, part of my life. And I'm very, very honored to be back here. Uh, I've stood on this stage here and watched any number of very, very chiseled, handsome men win this award. And I feel I'm really doing it for the big fellas to uh, show that anything is possible. But thank you, Joe. Thank you, Glamour. You've always been an incredible supporter of mine. Uh, you were the first magazine to ever give me an interview. You were the first magazine I ever wrote something for. And you're the, uh, you're the first magazine to name me uh, a singular man of the year. Um, it would be uh, remiss of me if I was here to not uh, thank just a few people. And I, I really thought that tonight I should probably just thank... I've been very lucky that my whole life and career has been shaped by some amazing women. Uh, Ruth Young, who is my agent. Jodie Gottlieb, who is in uh, America. Ruth Jones, who I wrote Gavin and Stacey with, who is <laughs> as good a woman as you'll ever meet. Christine Gernon, who directed every single minute and second of Gavin and Stacey, uh, and is, is amazing. Um, my wife, the, our daughter, who we have created together, who those two are uh, my favorite women in the world, and also my mum, and my sisters, and I brought my big sister with me tonight, though she's very, very cross, because I didn't actually tell her that she was coming with me, so she's very underdressed. Um, so cut her some slack. Like, don't just hand her your drink or something. Or go over and tell her there's been a spillage by table 13. She's, 
She's like, and we've got to leave in a minute because she's lost her phone. It's in a Sainsbury's. In, uh, we did the Apple thing. She's found it. So we've got to leave in a minute. But thank you very, very much. <laughs> it's true. It's genuinely true. Uh, thank you very, very much. And thank you to Marie for... Uh, the truth is, wearing that T-shirt on that magazine, it didn't even occur to me that that would ever be anything that should even be considered as brave. Because I don't think it should be. And I long for the day when it isn't a time where we would talk about women's rights, where we would talk about equality and any of those things, that it would just be uh, a matter of fact of the world that we are living in. Nights like tonight, I truly believe, take everyone a step closer than that. This means a lot to me. Thanks, Joe. Thank you all very, very much.